Hi, welcome back to BK Garage. In this video, I'll be carrying on with the 383 stroker build. I'm gonna get the last few things buttoned up, get the engine ready to take and put on the dyno back at the machine shop. It's gonna get the distributor ready to go, prime the oiling system, get the fuel pump mounted, a few other little odds and ends like that. Let's get at it. So we got the cap and the rotor off. I'm gonna be running lock timing on this engine. So I need to disassemble the distributor so that the advanced weights don't do anything. So I'm gonna drive this pin out of the gear. That way I can slide the distributor shaft out and get at the advanced stop bushing. Go over to the vise, palm that out of there. Okay, the roll pin out. I just put a welding glove in the vise to pad it so I didn't hurt anything. Set that down on it. Drove it out with a pin punch. So now we pull the drive gear. The distributor shaft slides out the top. I don't have to take it all the way out, just enough to get at the back side here. Just takes an 11.30 seconds wrench. Take that nut off the back side. I gotta pull the advanced springs too. So now that shaft slides out the top. You take off the advanced stop bushing. Turn that 180 degrees. If you can see that or not, there's a small hole here. Put the shaft back down through the small hole. Just pull the weights off too, it won't clear them. Back through the small hole. Put the nut back on the back side. That completely locks the timing out. If I can get my fingers in there. Tighten that back up good and snug. You don't want to get too German with it and twist the bolt off. Now 
I'm changing the drive gear out. Because of my roller cam, I can't use the factory gear. I gotta use a composite one so it doesn't eat the cam. So I was just about to start pounding the roll pin into that. It's only drilled on one side. So I actually read the instructions and it mentions that. So you gotta get it lined up on the distributor and drill through, just using your distributor shaft as a guide to line up the second hole. So I'll put that in the drill press, drill it real slow. There we go. That's drilled through, now I can put the roll pin in. I'm gonna set the distributor height now. Not worried about getting number one lined up right now. There we go. So we're down in the oil pump drive now and meshed with the cam. So what it calls for is put your gasket in and raise it 10 to 30 thou. So what I've done is I've measured the thickness of my gasket. It's about 60 thousandths. And that gasket will compress a bit when I clamp the distributor down. So thickest feeler gauge on that set is 27 thou, so that'll be close enough. Let's get my helper to hold this here. Okay, that's nice and square. Tighten that collar up into place. Okay, you can pull the feeler gauge. There you go. That looks good. So now when I put the gasket in, that'll lift up another 33 thou, but it'll compress a little again when I put the clamp on. So it should have us right around our 30 thousandths. It's not far off a of number one, but I'll fine tune it after I prime the engine. The fuel pump push rod, cover ready to go here. Using a push rod with a bronze tip on it, again for that roller cam. Put a little oil stabilizer on it. Barely snug these up and let that silicone dry for a couple hours. I want to tighten it down. Then I can trim off any excess that comes out around it after it dries. A couple hours has passed. So tighten these bolts down. It's a copper spray gasket on my fuel pump gasket. oil pump priming tool. It's an old distributor shaft and then I pinned a sleeve onto it so it doesn't slip off.
I got a generous coat of cam gear break-in oil on that distributor drive gear. It's off by a tooth from where I'd like it. Turn that oil pump drive back a little. There we go. It's lined up for where I want number one. Skip the head a touch here. Let's get the adapter for my temp sending unit in. Water neck on. This one I'm leaving open for now. So that way they can put the sending unit for the dyno in there. Distributor cap on. That's a 750 mechanical secondary holly brawler. This next up is build some fuel lines, put the plugs in, and make some plug wires. Okay, got my plugs gapped to 40 thou. That's about the most even set of plugs I've ever found out of the box. I had to tighten two of them down just a little. Put a thin layer of Addy C's on these. Not putting my headers on here, they have a set of dyno headers they use at the machine shop. mocking up the water pump right now so I can check out my alternator brackets I got. They've got an electric water pump with the dyno that they're going to use on it. So I don't need to put this one on permanently yet. That should work. I don't have an extra alternator handy right now. Just wanted to make sure everything actually had the mounting points it needed. Looks good to me. Fuel lines and plug wires now. There we go, plug wires are done. I made a couple different coil wires. I measured the one that's on the car currently. So that one fits. I made another one with a 90 degree end on it. So if I wanna run it like that, I can. These will get fastened up here later. I had to jump ahead a little bit here, the camera died. So I got my fuel lines on the carb, fuel pressure gauge in, I'm mount the filter up here. I've tried a few different configurations, putting the filter down here closer to the pump. 
and nothing really fits well. This is the best way. So now I gotta get the line to come from the end of the filter, rounding behind the water pump, and down here to the fuel pump. So just putting together the fuel line here, that end done already. The first fitting on. Just have to thread the two halves together now. I'll have to get a blue elbow for the bottom. I only had a black 90 degree fitting. Yeah. Carb isn't bolted down solid. So I'm going to build a little bracket to go from this bolt hole to here so I can secure that line just to steady it a bit. That way it can't wiggle. I found an alternator out in my race trailer. My spare one off the Mustang. I run GM alternators on everything so it's a little easier to find parts when a guy needs or if a guy needs. foot pounds on that one that's done that's it for this video thank you very much for watching as usual please like share subscribe tell your grandma and i'll see you on the next one next time you see this engine it'll be on the dyno we'll make some pulls see what kind of power it makes